Hello, let's talk about factors today. How many factors does a number have? Let's take an example of number 24. For 24, it's very simple. So let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. So in all, there are 8 factors in 24. But what if we have to do it something more scientifically or something that can be extended to bigger numbers? So let's break down 24 into prime factors. So 24 is nothing but 3 into 2 to the power 3. So that gives me 3 to the power 1 into 2 to the power 3. So if I say, if I add one number to every power, so 3 to the power 1 means, okay, I add 1 to 1 is 2, 2 to the power 3, I add 1 to 3 is 4 and I multiply both of them. So 2 into 4 is 8. Let's see how it happens. So 3 to the power 1 and 3 to the power 0, these are two factors of 24. 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 1 and 2 to the power 0 are four factors. These are two sets of numbers. So we can pick up one from every set at a given point and find a factor. So 3 to the power 1 into 2 to the power 3, that gives me 24. 3 to the power 1 into 2 to the power 2 gives me 12. 3 to the power 1 and 2 to the power 1 gives me another number which is 6. 3 to the power 1 and 2 to the power 0 will give me 3. Similarly, if I take it 3 to the power 0, I will give you 4 more factors. So in all, I get 8 factors. So simplifying, if I add 1 to every power, which is maximum, and multiply all the powers, that is how we get the total number of factors that a number can have. Let's take a bigger number. Let's take 4,50,000. How many factors does 4,50,000 have? Let's break it first. 45 into 10,000. 45, 3 into 3 into 5 is 45. 10,000, if we break it simply, 2 to the power 4 into 5 to the power 4. So combining both of them, I get 3 square into 2 to the power 4 into 5 to the power 5. So taking it back to the previous way, 3 to the power 2, 3 to the power 1, 3 to the power 0, same way 2 to the power 4 and 5 to the power 5. We get to know that it can be 3 into 5 into 6. That will be the total number of factors, which is nothing but 90. So there are 90 factors of 4,50,000. Let's try something more. What are the even factors of 4,50,000? So when we have to find out even factors, we have to eliminate one number from the 2 series, which is 2 to the power 0. Let's take how it happens. 3 to the power 0 into 2 to the power 4 into 5 to the power 5. Now this has 2 in it, so it will be an even number. But if I take with any one of the 3s and the 5s, 2 to the power 0, it will not be an even number. So we have to eliminate 2 to the power 0 here. So it will be 3 into 4 because 2, only 4 options are possible and for 5 it will be 6 options. So 3 into 4 into 6, that is the number of even factors which is 72 for 4,50,000. Let's look at odd factors. Now when we talk about odd factors, we cannot take any of the even numbers. So here only 2 to the power 0 is possible. So again going back, it will be 3 into 1 into 6. So that is 18. So 18 number of odd factors that the number has. Let's go further on. What are the number of perfect squares which are factors of 4,50,000? So 4,50,000, let's look at this. 3 square is a perfect square. 3 to the power 0, which is 1, is also a perfect square. 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 0. 5 to the power 4, 5 square and 5 to the power 0. These are all perfect squares. So if we just pick these up, so it will be 2 into 3 into 3. So that gives me 18. 18 are the number of perfect squares which are factor of 4,50,000. Let's see how we expand it. Find the number of factors of 8820. Let's break 8820. We have 2 square into 3 square into 5 to the power 1 into 7 square. So number of factors, it's nothing but 3 into 3 into 2 into 3. So that gives me 54. So 8820 has 54 different factors. Now let's see a different question. What are the sum of the factors of 8820? This we haven't learned so far. So let's look at how we do it. So in this case, when we add 1 more to the power of each and every prime number. So it's 2 square, so we'll make it 2 cube. It's 3 square, so we'll make it 3 cube. It'll make, we'll make it 5 square and we'll make 7 cube. So 2 cube minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1. 2 is nothing but the prime number itself. Same way, 3 cube minus 1 upon 3 minus 1, 5 square minus 1 upon 5 minus 1 and 7 cube minus 1 upon 7 minus 1. Now this if we multiply, we'll get the sum total of all the factors of 8820. 
This way we can go ahead and find out the number of factors, number of odd factors, even factors, perfect square factors. We can also extend it to perfect cube and even higher powers and calculate them according to what is required.